Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear or second order non-homogeneous differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients. In this problem, we're asked to use undetermined coefficients to find a particular solution given by big Y of t. So even though this question only asks for a particular solution, we'll actually find the general solution and only enter a particular solution here for big Y of t. Let's begin by reviewing the method of undetermined coefficients. The method of undetermined coefficients can be used to find the general solution to a differential equation in this form here, which again is a linear second order non-homogeneous differential equation. The general solution is y of t shown here. These two forms are equivalent with the general solution y of t equals the complementary function given by y sub c of t, which equals c sub one times y sub one plus c sub two times y sub two, plus a particular solution given by big Y sub P of T. So again, the general solution is equal to the complementary function plus the particular solution given by big Y sub P of T. The steps we'll follow is one, solve the corresponding homogeneous differential equation by setting the right side of the equation equal to zero this will give us the complementary function, y sub c of t. Step two, we'll guess the form of a particular solution to the original differential equation based upon the form of g of t with undetermined coefficients. And then step three, we'll perform substitution into the original differential equation and solve for the undetermined coefficients, which will give us big Y sub p of t, a particular solution, and then we'll use these two functions to form the general solution. So going back to our problem, step one, we want to solve the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, which should be y double prime plus y prime minus two y equals zero. And we can solve this using a characteristic equation, which is the equation ar squared plus br plus c equals zero, where for this differential equation, a is one, b is one, and c is negative two. So we'd have r squared plus r minus two equals zero. Let's solve this by factoring. Factors of r squared are r and r. The factors of negative two that add to positive one are positive two and negative one. So notice how we have two distinct real solutions. We have r sub one equals negative two and r sub two equals positive one. So because the characteristic equation has two distinct real roots or real solutions, the complementary function is going to be in this form here. So we now know that y sub c of t is in the form c sub one times e raised to the power of negative two t plus c sub two times e raised to the power of t. Now for step two, we guess the form of a particular solution to the original differential equation. So we're looking for a function where the second derivative plus the first derivative minus two times original function is equal to four times e raised to the power of three t. So because g of t is an exponential function, the form of big Y of t, or for our notes, big Y sub p of t, would be a times e raised to the power of three t. And here's a list of forms for big Y sub p of t when g of t is a particular type of function. And this is why it's important to find the complementary function first. Notice how the form of this term does not appear as either of the terms in the complementary function. And therefore, we do not have to include an extra factor of t. Remember, if this term already appeared as one of the terms in the complementary function, we would have to include an extra factor of t. And we'll see this in the next example. And now before we perform substitution into the original differential equation, we need to find the first and second derivative of big Y sub P of T. So the first derivative is equal to A times E raised to the power of three T times three, or three A, E to the three T. And the second derivative is equal to three A times E to the three T times three, which would be nine A, E to the three T. And now we'll perform substitution into the original differential equation to find the value of a. Let's do this on the next slide. 
So performing the substitution, we know y double prime is nine a e to the three t plus the first derivative, which would be plus three a e to the three t, and then minus two times original function, which is a e to the three t. We know this must equal four times e raised to the power of three t. Notice on the left side, these are all like terms, and since nine a plus three a minus two a is equal to ten a, it simplifies to ten a e to the three t equals four e to the three t. And therefore it follows that ten a must equal four. So ten a equals four, a equals four tenths, which simplifies to two fifths which means we now know a particular solution, big Y sub P of T is equal to two-fifths times E raised to the power of three T. And remember on the previous slide, we already found Y sub C of T, Y sub C of T is equal to C sub one times E raised to the power of negative two T plus C sub two times E raised to the power of T which means if we were asked to give the general solution, the general solution would be y of t equals y sub c of t plus big Y sub p of t, which would be y of t equals, again, y sub c of t is c sub one times e raised to the power of negative two t plus c sub two times e raised to the power of t plus a particular solution, big Y sub p of t, which we now know is plus two fifths e to the three t. So this would be the general solution to the given differential equation, but remember we're only asked to enter big Y sub P of t, which would be this function here. So going back to our first slide, big Y of t equals two fifths times e raised to the power of three t. I hope you found this helpful.